Imagine this, a house rises from the ground in a single day, not by crews with bricks and scaffolds, but by a giant robotic arm extruding layer after layer of engineered material. Walls appear like magic, cavities for windows and doors already built in, and by the next sunrise, a family could move in. Now imagine whole neighborhoods printed this way, then entire districts assembled autonomously, and one day, maybe entire cities that grow and repair themselves. That's not a sci-fi pitch, it's happening now. Welcome to the world of 3D printed houses and the quiet revolution that will remake how we build civilization. We'll walk this story in levels, from the first experiments to the machines that print walls, the science in the mixes, and the robot crews that finish the job. Level one, the rise of 3D construction printing. The modern chapter begins in the 2010s when pioneers proved the idea, you can print buildings. Early players like Apis Core, Icon, SQ4D, and the controversial Winsun in China showed the world that a robotic gantry or mobile extrusion head can lay down structural material fast and with consistent tolerances. In 2017, Apis Core famously printed a small house in Russia in about 24 hours. Icon partnered with New Story to 3D print homes for vulnerable communities in Mexico and later expanded pilots in Latin America and the US. These headline demos had a simple electrifying message construction can be radically faster and far cheaper. Why does this matter? Because the world faces an unprecedented housing shortfall. The UN estimates 1.6 billion people will need adequate housing by 2030. Traditional construction, labor-intensive, slow, wasteful, simply can't scale fast enough. 3D printing promises an industrial alternative. Digital design, robotic fabrication, rapid assembly. It's a path to affordable, durable shelter at scale. Level 2. How a 3D printed house is actually made. Let's demystify the process. A printed house is not a single miracle robot replacing every trade. It's a hybrid workflow where machines do the heavy, repetitive, dangerous, or precisely measured work, and humans finish, fit, and add systems. Step 1. Digital design. Architects produce a parametric CAD model that includes structural walls, channels for conduits, window slash door openings, and performance-optimized geometry. Generative design can optimize material use and thermal performance. Step 2. Site setup and printer deployment. A large gantry, crane-mounted arm, or mobile printer is set up on site. Systems range from gantry frames to truck-mounted printers that can drive around the footprint. Step 3. Extrusion. A specially formulated print mix, usually a cementitious composite with polymers, fibers, or geopolymers, is extruded in continuous beads. Each layer is deposited with millimeter precision, and the material gains enough early strength to support the next layer within minutes. Step 4. MEP and Fit Out Once the shell is printed, electricians, plumbers, and HVAC technicians install mechanical systems. Pre-fitted modular inserts or channels printed into the wall speed this step dramatically. Step 5. Finishing and commissioning. Windows, doors, finishes, and interior fittings are installed. Some projects print interior partitions too. Others combine printed shells with off-the-shelf modular components. Level 3. The science behind the materials. The real wizardry isn't the robot arm, it's the material science. Standard concrete pores don't behave well for layer-by-layer -layer printing. Slump, setting time, bond strength, and shrinkage must all be controlled. So engineers developed engineered print mixes, fiber-reinforced extrudable cement, microfibers, glass, polypropylene, basalt, add tensile capacity, and crack control. Polymers and additives, accelerators and thickeners control early set and buildability. Geopolymers and low-carbon binders reduce embodied CO2 compared to OPC cement. Some mixes incorporate recycled aggregates, demolition rubble, or industrial byproducts to cut carbon and costs. Level 4. Why 3D printing is disrupting the housing market. Speed. Print time for a basic shell can drop from months to hours slash days. That accelerates delivery cycles and reduces financing and carrying costs. Cost. Material and labor efficiencies can push down per unit cost drastically. Pilots report dramatic savings on labor, since robots handle the heavy lifting and on waste. Conservative estimates suggest labor reductions of 50% plus and material waste reductions up to 60 to 70% in printed workflows versus conventional builds. Scalability. Factories and mobile printers can be deployed to underserved regions, enabling mass rollout of affordable homes. Icon and partners have targeted low-income communities. 
China has shown how whole apartment blocks can be printed using factory methodologies. Sustainability. Using low-carbon binders and recycled materials improves the life cycle footprint. Fewer trucks, less formwork, and optimized designs cut embodied carbon per dwelling. Level 5. Robots on the construction site. The future site is a coordinated machine ecosystem, not a line of hammers. Printers are already working alongside inspection drones that scan surface quality and dimensional accuracy in real time, autonomous material feeders, and mixers that keep the extruder supplied, mobile robotic assistants that lay subfloors, set embedded components, or move heavy prefabricated panels, AI vision systems that detect print defects, trigger correction routines, or adapt print parameters to changing conditions. This orchestration enables 24-7 operation in controlled shifts. Companies call this approach automated urbanism, an industrial choreography where machines replicate, maintain, and expand the built environment. Level 6. The Smart City Connection AI Designs Printers Build If 3D printers are the new hammers, AI is the new architect. Generative design tools feed environmental data, sun paths, wind, thermal flux, mobility patterns, traffic, transit use, and human behavior into algorithms that generate optimized building footprints, orientation, and material distribution. The output isn't a static blueprint. It's a parametric model that can be tuned for budget, carbon targets, and cultural preferences. That model connects directly to printers and robotic assemblers. Imagine urban planners running simulations, maximize daylighting, minimize embodied carbon, and fit 200 homes within this floodplain. The AI iterates hundreds of designs in minutes and delivers a print-ready file. Printers and site robots then fabricate streets, walls, stormwater features, and public spaces exactly as the model prescribes. The result? Neighborhoods designed for microclimate comfort, energy efficiency, and social cohesion, not just developer profit. Level 7. The Economics of Printed Cities – Who Wins and Who Loses Radical Speed and Cost Reduction Rewrite Economics if a printed home can be delivered in days at a fraction of the cost, housing markets will shift. Developers can pivot from speculative inventory to mass delivery. Governments can rapidly deploy affordable housing with predictable budgets. Insurers and lenders will adapt underwriting to machine-based timelines and performance metrics instead of contractor reputations. But disruption brings winners and losers. Skilled building trades will be in demand, not for repetitive tasks, but for robotics maintenance, digital modeling, and systems integration. Training programs and vocational schools must pivot from hammer and nail curricula to robotics, CAD, and material science. Cities that invest in workforce transition will capture economic value. Those that ignore reskilling risk social backlash. Level 8, the global race, cities, countries, and lunar labs. We're already seeing a global competition for printed infrastructure leadership. Dubai targets a large share of new building permits for 3D printing. China has printed multi-story apartment blocks and infrastructure. Mexico, India, and parts of Africa are deploying low-cost printed housing at scale. Meanwhile, research into extraterrestrial printing, NASA and ESA exploring lunar regolith printing, ties terrestrial leadership to space ambitions. Level 9. The Challenges, Codes, Certification, and Cultural Acceptance No revolution is smooth. Regulatory frameworks lag behind technology. Building codes were written for bricks, mortar, and human workflows, not for extruded composites and integrated conduits. Certification bodies need new test methods to validate printed structural performance, fire resistance, thermal behavior, and durability over decades. Insurance also needs new models. Liability becomes complex. Who is responsible if a printed wall fails? Level 10. The future. Self-replicating drones and cities that heal themselves. Now, the provocative finale. Scientists are experimenting with self-replicating construction systems. Robots that can print parts of themselves from local materials, assemble replacements, and spawn more robots. Scaling production exponentially without shipping heavy fleets from Earth. Picture cities where repair drones patrol facades, print new panels to replace damaged skin, and retrofit insulation as weather patterns shift. Imagine neighborhoods that adapt, walls that thicken for colder winters, shades that reconfigure for heat waves, and flood barriers that deploy before storms based on predictive models. Printed infrastructure becomes adaptive infrastructure. If this vision of printed cities, fast, green, and adaptive, fired up your imagination, subscribe to Tech AI Vision for weekly deep dives into the technologies reshaping our world.